Good morning, dear friends. I am so very happy to meet with you this morning. And uh, I pray that this day shall be a day of fruitfulness in your life and growth in your spiritual life and relationship with the Lord. And may today's meditation help you and give you the needed guidance. And the title of today's meditation is To God you are worth more than anyone else or more than anything else. Based on the gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 10 verse 31. Jesus Christ is giving an assurance in this passage to all God's faithful children and uh, that you are of great worth to your heavenly father always. You are so very precious to him. And uh, let no doubt be there about God's uh, consideration and estimation of you and your value. There are two, three things I would like you to notice. Number one, God values you and your needs. Think of it. He values you so much that um, he desires your love and your uh, fellowship so much that he sent his only son, Jesus Christ, into this world to die on the cross for you. And if you have any doubt about it, read the gospel according to St. John chapter 3 verse 16 one more time. Though you may know it by heart, you may not have to open the Bible, but repeat that verse carefully and word by word. In order to understand how much God the Father has loved you. God values you, my friends. You are never away from his love, care, and the presence and concern. He knows your name. He knows your address. He knows your smallest need as well as your greatest need. He knows your trials, frustration, and fears and sorrows. He knows it all. There is nothing about you that he does not know. And not only about you, but he knows you so intimately. And in fact, I always say, God knows me better than I know myself. And I want to say this about you as well. God knows you more than you know, you know yourself. This is our God. Nothing is hidden from him, neither can anyone hide anything from him. And the second thing I want you to notice is, you are so important to God that he treasures your faithfulness, love and loyalty above all earthly name or fame or things. Many times for us, what is important is our name, our fame, and what we can gain by following Christ. No, dear friends, God desires your absolute, total loyalty and love. This unwavering love and faith in Christ proved genuine and sincere in the midst of trials and troubles. It is his honor and glory. Remember the time when God tested Abraham and his love and faith in him. In Genesis chapter 22, we read about how God tested Abraham. When God called him one night and told him, 
if he truly loved god then take his one only son and the, the only son whom he loves and take him to a mountain which god will show him as a burnt offering now a burnt offering is an offering that you lay upon the fire or the altar and that offering is completely totally burned and what is left is only a handful of ashes that is a burnt offering and here god is asking abraham to offer his son isaac as a burnt offering to him he he waited for 25 long years in order to receive this promised son god promised him a son from his own body through his own wife uh, sarah at the age of 75 and at the age of 100 he got the son and now god is asking him to offer him as a burnt offering the hardest part of uh, this uh, the the obedience to him was uh the three days of journey god was absolutely silent absolutely silent how abraham must have been longing during these three days of journey to hear at least something from heaven as god would speak to him but god was absolutely this is god commanded him once and then god went silent this is the way god does with even with us he commanded everything that he wants us to obey as his children in his word and as we read and understand what god's commandments are then if something god commanded you don't need to pray you just have to obey you have to do it and only when your obedience is complete then again you will receive a higher revelation you can imagine this silence of god while abraham was engaged in a lonely battle within himself not even his son isaac knew the sacrifice uh, sacrificial lamb it was missing so he asked the question we have everything needed for a uh, for to offer an offering but where is the lamb and abraham prophetically told him god will provide and it is from there we got the word jehovah jaira how abraham must have been longing to hear god's voice but god was silent about abraham abraham made himself fighting all the doubts and fears and questions he might have been having about what god was saying first of all it it contradicted god's own promise that through isaac you are going to bless all the nations and many nations will come out of isaac etc etc then how can god ask this so maybe it is a dream he could have doubted this and gone back but no he fought all these battles within him but what is the end of it he actually laid isaac on the altar tied it picked up the knife and that is when god stopped him that means as far as abram was concerned he already killed his son isaac in his heart and that was what made it possible for him to pick up the knife and about to plunge into his heart but then god at that moment came stopped him and he commanded and uh, god commanded and left until abraham proved himself 
look at the honor titles bestowed on abraham and once abraham was obedient to the last god stopped to him and he said don't lay your hand on your son now i know that you fear me and that you love me and you can imagine the way both of them returned while going they were downcast there was silence and abraham was fighting this battle but while returning they returned together with singing and dancing and rejoicing and thanking god my friends obedience to god no matter what it is going to cost you will never never cause you to lose anything you will ultimately be the victor and the recipient of a greater honor and look at the honor titles bestowed on him he was called the friend of god he was also called the father of the faithful and he also had the distinction of being the founder father of three great nations and religious religious group the nation of israel then the the church of jesus christ christianity and islam three greatest faith in the world and three titles what an honor and abraham is even today honored and respected by these three religious group greatly god is more than faithful he is more than life to you and to me no matter what obedience to his commandments cost do it my friends and trust him and love him and exalt him and in honor of him you be obedient this is god's word for you today and you will never be a loser you will be a greatest gainer in life at the end god bless you and give you the strength to be obedient to god in spite of the cost you may have to pay and then at the end you will rejoice and you will have the greatest honor for this god grant you grace and wisdom father in the name of jesus i pray for everyone who listen to this that they shall follow the examples of our forefathers that none of them could say that god failed them none of them have ever, ex ever experienced a loss or a disappointment in life simply because they were obedient to you in spite of the cost they would have to pay and so may we their children continue to follow you and follow your instructions and be obedient to your commands that we may reap a rich harvest of victory a joy in life and a reward at the end eternal life with Jesus Christ our lord thank you in jesus name amen dear friends this is a day god has given you enjoy it and have a good day